All right, welcome to section 5.4, dividing polynomials. So the first one we're going to look at is a monomial divided by a monomial. One single term divided by another single term. So if we look at this, this should look very familiar to us. Here you just divide the coefficients and you divide the variables. And if you divide like bases, remember you subtract the exponents. So 15 divided by 3, that will be 5. Or you can do the Gazinta rule. 3 goes into 15 5 times. And subtracting the powers, 10 minus 4 is 6. All right, over here, 42 divided by negative 3, that's negative 14. a to the third over a to the first, you might want to put a 1 there. 3 minus 1 is 2. 5 minus 3 on the b's is 2, and there's your answer. Now, we're going to divide a binomial or a trinomial by a single term, monomial. The quickest and easiest way to do this is to turn this problem into the above problem. Rewrite this as two separate fractions. So as long as there's one term on the bottom, notice there's no plus sign, no minus sign like there's in the top. You can separate these to individual fractions and simplify. So 2 goes into 80 40 times. You're dividing like bases, subtract the powers. 5 minus 3 is 2. 40x squared plus 6 divided by 2 is 3. 7 minus 3 is 4 on the powers for your x. And there's your final answer. If they give us three terms, they write three separate fractions. Now in this case, there's technically a 1 in front of the x to the fourth. So that's going to give me 1 third because I can't divide 3 into 1, and I subtract my powers, 4 minus 1 is x cubed. So it's okay to have a fraction in front of the variable. Plus, 3 goes into 15 5 times. x to the third divided by x to the first, subtracting by 1, makes it x squared. Minus 6 divided by 3 is 2. x squared divided by x to the first, 2 minus 1, 1. All right, so if you can understand that, you can understand any type of division. Some people think, oh my gosh, now I'm dividing by a binomial. This problem's harder. No, it's not. Believe it or not, it's all based on this right here. We're going to write this up in the good old-fashioned style of a long division box. If there's any terms missing, you have to put a 0x to whatever power is missing. So it's x squared, x to the first, constant. Think of this as your ones place, tens place, hundreds place. Now, when you do division here, your goal is to eliminate this first term. Well, the 3 has no x to it, so it's impossible for the 3 to get rid of the x squared. But this x can get rid of the x squared. You're only going to divide leading terms x squared over x. See, it looks just like those single fractions you saw on the previous slide. x squared divided by x is x. Put this x to the first above the 5x term. Now you want to distribute this x to everything to the front. x times x is x squared. x times 3 plus 3x. Keep it all lined up. Now you want to subtract both columns. So put in two minus signs. So the x squareds are now officially gone. That has to happen. If they don't cancel, you did something wrong. 5x minus 3x is 2x. Bring down the plus 6. Repeat the process. You now have a new leading term, 2x. That is now divided by x. You do this until the constant position is filled. Once the constant position is filled on the top, you have no more x's to divide by. 2x divided by x is 2, so we're going to put a positive 2 above the 6. Multiply the 2 out to the front, just like we did earlier with the x. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 3 is plus 6. Subtract both columns. 0 and a 0. That's my remainder is a 0. So if they ask, what is the quotient? It's whatever's on the top, x plus 2. The remainder, what's ever down here on the bottom. 
All right, another example. 2x squared plus 5x minus 1 all over 2x minus 1 right in the good old-fashioned long division box. Cancel out that 2x squared by dividing the first terms. Your leading terms are the only ones you can divide. 2x squared divided by 2x is x. Line that up above the 5x and multiply that to the front. x times 2x is 2x squared. x times minus 1 is minus 1x. Minus, minus for both columns. Now notice here, x squared terms cancel, but minus a negative will turn that into a plus plus. 5x plus 1x is now 6x, and then we bring down the minus 1. Again, if those leading terms did not cancel, then you did something wrong here. Repeat the process. 6x is now my new leading term. 6x divided by 2x is a positive 3. Put that above the minus 1. Multiply the 3 to both terms. We get 6x and minus 3. Minus, minus. 6x is cancel. Oh, but now I got minus a negative. That's going to come plus, plus. Negative 1 plus 3 is a positive 2. So quotient, x plus 3. Now I have a remainder of 2. So again, this is the way Moore will probably want you to enter it because it's going to be easier to grade it. The official way to write out this answer is x plus 3 plus whatever your remainder is over what you were dividing by. Now, we didn't do this on the last problem because there's no reason to put plus 0 over that binomial. So if our remainder is a zero, we don't need the plus fraction at the end. But if you have a remainder, this is the official way to write the answer. Now you can see more is being lazy because they just want to grade these three terms and this term. They don't want to grade this, 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 fraction bar, this in the denominator. All right, so pay close attention. This is the official answer that I would be looking for on the test. More wants you to type it in this way. All right, next we have a trick question here. You'll notice that my x cubed plus 1 is missing terms when we write them in descending order. So when I convert this into the long division box, if I have an x cubed term, I have to have an x squared term, and I have to have x to the first all the way down to a constant. So if those terms are missing, I put zeros in front of those x's. I have to hold their place value. So the general rule of thumb is that if you have a power of 3, you will have 3 plus 1 number of terms. If you look back in the previous example, we had x squared. 2 plus 1 is 3. You have 3 terms. They were all there. So if I say 3 plus 1 is 4 and I only see two terms, I know I need to put in two zeros. Now that I have it all set up, we'll divide our leading terms. x cubed divided by x, x squared, line it up above the 0 x squared. See, that's why I need that there. I can't put x squared above x cubed. I can't put x squared above 1. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 1x is a plus 1x squared. Where would the 1x squared be lined up? Can't line it up underneath the plus 1. They're not like terms. That's why we put the zeros in there. Hold place values so we can combine our like terms. Subtract both columns. x cubes are gone. Now I have negative 1x squared. And bring down your other terms. Plus 0x plus 1. New leading term is negative 1x squared. Being divided by my x is negative 1x. Put that above the 0x is minus 1x. Multiply that to the front of everything. We'll get a minus 1x squared and a minus 1x. Minus minus of the two columns, plus plus, plus plus. x squareds cancel, 1x plus 1. Bring down the plus 1. Repeat the process because I don't have the constant done yet. New leading term x times, or excuse me, divided by that leading term x, we get a 1. Plus 1 above the 1. Distribute to 1. It's just going to give me x plus 1 for both. Minus, minus. We get 0. 
So my quotient is this trinomial x squared minus x plus 1. My remainder is 0. Okay, now there is a shortcut that I'm going to quickly discuss here. These were the three problems I divided by. But because I am dividing by what we call a linear binomial, x to the first, x to the first, x to the first, you can do what is called synthetic division, which is a horizontal t-chart, and you only write the coefficients down, 1, 5, 6, on the top line. You take your x plus 3, put it up here in the upper left-hand corner, set it equal to 0, and solve it for x. Negative 3 goes on the bottom. So what we're going to do is what we say, run negative 3 through the synthetic division table. Underneath your 6, this is where your remainder will be. Now the steps to do this is you drop down the very first number, 1. Whatever it is, you drop it down. Then this negative 3 gets multiplied to the 1 and moved up to the second number underneath the 5. You combine this. 5 minus 3 is 2. Repeat. Take the negative 3, multiply it to the 2, get negative 6 under the 6, remainder is a 0. That's the remainder. This is the constant. This is the x to the first term. So x plus 2, that's my quotient. 0 is my remainder. Dividing by an x to the first is much quicker by synthetic division. Next problem, 2, 5, negative 1 across the top. 2x minus 1 equals 0. Solve for x. Add over the 1, divide by 2. 1 half goes through the table. Drop down the 2. 1 half times 2 is 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. 1 half times 6 is 3. 3 minus 1, or negative 1 plus 3, is 2. Now, this was not our quotient. Because you divided 2 into the 1, you never had the opportunity to divide this 2 into this 2. So all these numbers to the left of the remainder all have to be divided by 2. 2 divided by 2, 6 divided by 2, 1x plus 6 divided by 2 is 3 with a remainder of 2. The remainder does not get divided by 2. It's just what's ever inside to the left of the remainder box in this area here. The last one we just did, remember, missing two terms, 1, 0, 0, 1. Solve for x. x is negative 1, negative 1 on the bo bottom here. Drop down the 1. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Plus 0 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Plus 0, 1. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Plus 1, 0. Constant, x to the first, x squared. 1x squared minus 1x plus 1. Or just x squared minus x plus 1 with the remainder of 0. All right. Next example, we have a binomial, but it's not x to the first. So this problem you cannot do by synthetic division. We have to do this by long division. Power of 2 should have three terms. I'm missing x to the first, so i got to put a 0x out here. x to the fourth, 4 plus 1 is 5. I should have five terms. I only have four. I'm missing x cubed, so i got to put a 0x cubed in. Now here we'll be lining up three sets of terms, which means there's going to be three minus signs to fill in. But you still just divide leading terms. x to the fourth divided by x squared is x squared. Line it up. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times 0x, 0x to the third. x squared times minus 5, minus 5x squared, three minus signs. Cancels, cancels, plus, plus. 2x squared. If you cancel two columns, that's less work we have to do. That's a good thing. Bring down the 4x minus 3. New leading term. 2x squared divided by that x squared is 2. Line it above the minus 3. You do not have to put a plus 0x here. 2 times x squared, 2x squared. 2 times 0x, 
zero x, two times negative five minus 10. Three minus signs cancels. Whoops, four x minus zero, four x, minus minus plus plus, negative three plus 10, positive seven. Quotient, x squared plus two, remainder, four x plus seven. Again, the official way to write this answer because there was a remainder, x squared plus two plus remainder on the top over whatever you divided by. Everybody agree? All right, so we'll set part one of the video is now officially done. We'll get part two here in a second.